Hi, today I'm going to show you why it is impossible to tune a guitar perfectly. Let's first consider these two tones. I know that they are two boxes with stripes, uh, but you know, tones are, are like uh, ocean waves. They, they have uh, crests or waves and then they have throughs. And so do these, if, if, if we uh, consider the black stripes waves and, and the white stripes throughs. Let's superimpose these two tones. Now they are equal, equally toned. If we reduce the uh, width of uh, one of the boxes, we will uh, make the stripes smaller, you know, a tone that is brighter. So we get what is called interference here between the two tones. If we uh, increase the width a little, you know, increase the frequency, there will be uh, fewer stripes. And I bet you uh, recognize this from tuning a guitar. Uh, eventually you, you, uh, you end up with two identical tones and if you move too far you will have stripes again. And these stripes and, uh, or wobblings or uh, revolutions or what you, you call them uh, is inevitable as it turns out. Let's listen to a guitar that is, uh, that is uh, perfectly tuned to a tuning machine and see what, uh, what the outcome is for, for a number of uh, uh, intervals. Okay, so let's check out the reason for this. If you want perfect harmonies, uh, where, where there, is, uh, there is no interference, no, no uh, beats, uh, wobblings, uh, you, you're gonna have to use only frequencies from the harmonic series. Uh, and in that series, the, the, there is a root note, and then each frequency, each overtone is an, uh, a multiple of this root frequency. So let's check out the string between the nut and, and the bridge. If we pluck it, it forms a standing wave. And this is the root, root note. Parallel to that, but with a smaller amplitude, the, the second overtone exists. They exist uh, simultaneously. And you can go on forever with, with the, the amplitude is uh, obviously a whole lot smaller. I've, I've drawn up to uh, the 16th overtone here. So in order to get perfect harmonics, we would uh, have to uh, divide the fretboard and position the frets using the natural harmonic series. Whereas this leads to uh, you being able to play some harmonics perfectly in some key. You can also see that uh, all these uh, half tones, 12 half tones, are not equal. For instance, uh, the relationship between G and G sharp is not the same as between C and C sharp. So when you start playing uh, in different keys with different chords and intervals and figures some of them will sound terrible out of tune like like, uh, like i did in the beginning of the clip when i tried to uh, to tune the b and g string to have a perfect harmony but in real life uh, neither the frets nor the tuning uh, of guitar is uh, based on harmonic series it is instead based on something called equal temperament uh, and that means that uh, all figures can be played with the same relative uh, degree of uh, being in tune. This is achieved by uh, dividing the fretboard into 12 equal half tones, where the ratio of each adjacent pair of frequencies down the fretboard is constant. You know, where the relationship between G and G sharp is the same as between C and C sharp, and so on. To do this, we can uh, Try to find a series uh, of 12 entries that goes from 1 to 2. The 12th root out of 2 multiplied by itself 12 times is 2. And if you divide 2 by the 12th root of 2 12 times, you get 1. So that uh, fulfills both requirements. And this means that each fret 
is 5.9% um, wider than the one below it and this explains why, why the frets are increasingly narrower down the neck. So as long as you have the conventional classic design on an electric guitar with the straight and unbroken frets, uh, equal temperament is as good as it gets. And then playing intervals like uh, minor third, it will be 16 cents lowered from uh, a perfect harmony. And a major third will be uh, higher, 14 cents from a perfect harmony. Okay, that concludes this explanation. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll be glad to do a second clip uh, where we can uh, uh, add your view on this as well. Cheers.